Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. It's a little after quarter past 10 on uh, the 12th of November, a day after uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, my situation with my stomach, if you were following me, is a lot better. I'm getting there over my deli belly, or the, as I called it, the Wexford Wobbler. Um, so I, what I wanted to do last Saturday was come into town when the Opera Festival still had a bit of a buzz around and do a 50 euro challenge where I was going to spend 50 euros on souvenir items and then randomly give it to a tourist that's in the town. So today, that's what I'm going to attempt. I'm going to go around the shops. I'll show you the little shops that we have in Wexford Town that have souvenirs. And once we accumulate about 50 euros worth, I'm going to attempt to find somebody. So we're going to go to like the hotels maybe or a couple of shops that I know that might have some tourists that they know around and try to find it and give it. Now, an added bonus, if I'm not able to find, you know, a tourist to give the, uh, the, glad, the goodie bag full of the souvenirs of Wexford Town, I'm going to offer it out to my subscribers and my viewers to be eligible for this. All you have to do is subscribe and comment comment on it that you would like to uh, be included in a chance to win the goodie bag and what I'll do is I'll randomly select one of the viewers that commented and I will ship it out to you anywhere in the world so if I, you are successful I will take um, I'll send you a, a message to send me a personal mes a message via either my uh, Facebook or my what um, my Instagram account and then I will get your particulars and I'll post it out to you so that's so see if you are going to be one of the lucky ones to get this or I'm able to find a tourist that's visiting Wexford town and to give them a the little the bag of goodies so we're gonna walk around today and see what type of little goodies we could put into it now it's the opera festival is over and the Spiegel tent is over so we'll see if there's still a lot of places available that have goodies but there usually is because Wexford is the tourist town is not too far from the Port Ross Airport. Okay, stay with me. So I went to the uh, the ATM and I got funds to bump up the Federal Reserves, as Harold would say. We're gonna go into this first shop here. They should have some, it's like a pound shop. They should have some uh, souvenirs here. Daddy. Take a look, I think I saw We'll probably start with a, a fridge magnet because wherever you go usually you get a fridge magnet hi how's it going so we're gonna go and see so they have dog treats and whatnot here's some magnets see if there's anything okay so we have different types of magnets let's see Something. This one. These ones look pretty nice. What do you think? It's a little the White House with the muscle boats and then the seagull. Three yo-yos. Three yo-yos. Three yo-yos. So they're all the three euros. And let's see what this one is. Probably the same. Yeah, there it is. Three euros. Okay. Well, let's start with that get this so here's the price and we'll add it to uh, the glad bag okay so that's the first purchase there the three euros 47 euros to go let's see what else we can find the fridge magnets are something that everyone usually gets I wonder if they have anything in the bookstore and I'll pass that for now now they would have books on Wexler but we could probably get that Maybe in Red Books there, my friend Wally's shop. So I'm just going to keep walking along the town till I get to the next stop, so stay with me. Okay, Murphy's Fish and Tackle. Now what caught my eye in this with his badges. Now I was looking to get a badge for myself anyways, for my hat. I noticed if you see in the window, they have some pikes, which are very Wexford from the uh, 1798 Rebellion, which I covered on a few of my vlogs. Uh, if you want to listen to the, the Wexford Town one or the Vinegar Hill and all that. So I think they seem to be reasonable, five euros. So I might get one for the, uh, 
the goodie bag and then one for myself. So let's go in and see how they are. Hi, how are you? How are you? I was looking at the pewter badges there. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, pike, the pikes there. Yeah, these. 1798 pikes. Yeah, they're really nice. Because we have all their pikes and their fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm doing is I'm putting a, a goodie bag of all souvenirs of Wexford oh, and nice. I'm going to yes. try to find somebody in town later yeah. uh, that's a tourist and yeah. I was going to give them a bag worth of like 50 euros of uh, different oh, nice. things. So That's different. So, yeah, so hopefully I can find out. I want to do it last week, but I got yeah. sick with uh, the water. Yes. And mm. I was just in bits, so I, mm. I wanted to get while there was still the opera festival. But yes. Hopefully I'll find somebody that's oh, you'd surely bumping find around. Yeah. So I'll take uh, two, one for myself and then one okay. for the, the goodie bag. Yeah, that's 10 euro then. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So there we go, that's the second purchase. So that'll bring us up to eight euros. So we have 42 left to spend. But I think that little pike uh, pin is really, really nice. A little pewter pin. And it'll be a good keepsake for time in Wexford. Okay, so we're going to go into this shop here. It's a butler's. It's a post office slash bit of everything. So convenience store, you get your scratch cards and lotto cards and that. But they do have a decent amount of souvenirs. At least the last time I was in, I checked. So we'll see if they have them there. Like I said, it's not the time. Oh, music. Ooh. No, I don't see. They used to have them here, so maybe because the uh, it's not in season, they moved it to the Christmas stuff. Lots of Christmas stuff, and no. Morning. Oh yeah. No, they didn't have any there, so we'll just move on to the next stop. That's the problem when you're going into the winter time, like obviously tourist season's mostly in the summer. Um, let's take a look. I wonder if they'd have any in Shaw's. I don't think so. Shaw's is more. Yeah, I wouldn't have any in there. We'll just walk around. Here's your man busking. He has a very good voice. I had him in one of my other videos. If you want to look back for it, I think it was the opera one. Here I'll... There you see, he has a very good voice. And he's, he can be found here on most weekends in Wexford Town. It's just around the bull ring. That was in the Wexford Town tour. If you remember, if you want to find out the history behind the Wexford Town, uh, the bull ring, just look up the Wexford Town log and I explain exactly what the uh, origins of it. Now here's the marketplace, and in the market, there's all these little shops that are rented out. And they have a bit of everything, like you can get coffee and a biscuit and donuts and, and all sorts of goodies. But we'll see if there's, they usually have some Wexford stuff here. Here's some postcards or cards. Here's some. We can take a look at here, see if there's anything. Here's the Hook Lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, I think she's safe enough from that. And then there's the pikemen. That can be found on uh, in Barron Town. Hi, yeah. How are you? 
What do your pictures go for there? Um, the small ones are 12. 12? And they're 25 in a frame. Because what I'm doing is I'm trying I'm doing a vlog and I'm trying to get a bunch of little souvenirs okay. from Wexford Town. Yeah. I want to get about 50 euros worth and I'm going to try to find later if I can see a tourist that's here and I was going to give him the bag with all oh. with all stuff of Wexford. Now if I can't find that then I'll I'll probably just uh, give it out to one of the subscribers somewhere yeah. and then send that though. Just something of Wexford. So I want to try to get as much as I can. Little, um, little yeah, so things. I got like a so far I got a pin for a hat, I got a the the ever popular fridge magnet, so mm -hmm. I'm yeah, just making my way. Magnets, like yeah, I've seen that. Um but the prints are thirty. Yeah. You know, that. But I want to get as much as I can. So yeah. so you said those are twelve, eh? Yeah, they're twelve. Yeah. Yeah. They're nice. Yeah. They're not mine. If they were mine I would do them cheaper. I do all the wreaths and yeah. the and stuff. Yeah, I was um, like, yeah. He does the photography. Okay. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able to give a discount because it's not yours. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's 12. Let me see. It's so 12, 15, 20. You know what? That that's that's not. They're not exorbitant. They're really nice prints and yeah, uh, pictures. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. So I'll take a look at one and I'll see what we can find. Because it's also like if I have to send it off or whatever, it's not too bad. There. All right. There's some more fridge magnets. Ravens Forest. I'm going to be going there next Saturday. So, um, yeah. So let's see which ones uh, jumps out at me. The Hook Lighthouse is good, and here you have the key of Wexford with the boats. That's a nice one too. The Pike Man too. Yeah. That one's nice. And then here's. Are they all Johnstown the, Castle. I've done the vlog there. Are they kind of like the picture is the same as on the rest of them or the one in the back of them? I'll have a look and see. Hmm. Go ahead, Dory. Just I'm just trying to see something that jumps out. Here's one of the bow ring. That's a nice one. Mackins. No, no, you're done. So there's all different choices here. 12 is not out of the the realm, but I think I'm going to go with the Wexford Key one. Although it'd be nice to have the Wexford boat name on it. Hmm. Like that one's a nice one, but it's just very limited. And then there's this one here that's jumping out at me too. But Lexford's known for the Hook Lighthouse, which is I'm going to be doing that in a couple weeks, hopefully. Um, so we'll probably be looking at something like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Hook Lighthouse. Alrighty. All right, so I'm gonna get the Hook Lighthouse one here. You don't? I don't need a bag, I have one. You you know what, we'll just take 10 for that one. Yeah, piece. okay. I'll just say Tell to him, like, that it's, it's appetizing for him. And actually, I'll leave you my card there so you can. Mm -hmm. I might have changed. <laughs> we all have our own little. No, little and I don't have changed. Of us in here. Okay. No, look, we all just have Everyone to has 20s. Do you have a machine? Yeah, it does. I could do the machine if that's handier. Except, yeah. Okay. Do I have any? I don't think I have anything else. Oh, wait. If I have 50, I can give you a 50. And then you give me back 40. Yeah, except he only has 20. Oh. <laughs> um. Do you want me to see if somebody else has two yeah, tens? I'll go and ask yeah. for two tens. Okay, one second. Thank you. There. Sorry. Sorry. 
with them. Yeah. Would you have two tens? I'm trying to get something there, and she doesn't have, you know, twenties and. There you go. Ah, oh, dream. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. We're in luck. It was quick. There we go. Thank you. I just asked the coffee shop lady there, so. Very good. So. There we go. Further down. I'm no, I haven't gone yet. So I, I've yeah. done. I just started from like Dunn's, working my way out. And I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the towards the Talbot. So yeah. that's where I'm going for now. And but thanks again for okay, that. All thank right. You. Thank you. So there we go. Got a nice photo there of the Hook Lighthouse for a tenor. So ten plus three plus five. So it's eighteen. Richard handmade crafts. Cards. Hmm. These are neat little things there, right? Alrighty. So we got a picture, a pin, and then we got the uh, we got the fridge magnet. So, so far we're we're doing well we're doing well and we've been at it for about a half an hour now so this is the uh, market place so you can get, come to when you visit Wexford it's only open on the uh, the weekends and then we'll walk down to the town we'll see well I'll we'll put it back on once I see another shop okay here's a Westgate design It might have something here. Take a look. It's a nice shop. It's some really good stuff in here. Uh, could be a little bit pricey at times, but you get good quality stuff here. Very good. Would you like this to be gift wrapped? No, it's okay. I'm just putting it in a bag. No problem. 8.50 please. There you go. Oh, I don't need a bag. You don't? No, no, I got my own bag here. No so that's fine. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's the uh, Irish tea towel. So it's something that my mother always wants to pick up when she's visiting Wexford. So she's. Planning to come back in June this year. She had wanted, she's been delayed because of COVID for the last couple of years. So we're all looking forward to her coming to visit. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bag now. Three, don't know. If you've seen me on my other vlogs, we're heading up to the uh, Red Books bookstore. I think it'd be good if I could find a book on Wexford, the history or something, for around a tenner, I would say. That would, uh, be a nice souvenir for from Wexford so we'll go and see what kind of books they have and see Wally if he's there and see if we can add to our little pack of bags with the goodies that we're gonna try to give away to either a tourist or to one of my subscribers like I said make sure you comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and here we are back in Red Books Here he is. How are you? Good, yourself? We're being, ta we're being taped, are we? <laughs> you're, 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 on the, you're on the screen, the big screen. Okay. What I'm looking for yeah. is a book, an Irish history, but new, because what I'm doing is a 50-year-old giveaway. Okay. So I get in souvenirs. So I want to get about 50 euros worth, mm. and I'm going to try to find a tourist that's in Wexford, and then just hand it to them. Oh, yeah. If I can't find a tourist, I was going to do it last Saturday, but I was not feeling well with the water. I had a bit of a bad case of the deli so, deli. Yeah. So what I, what I want to do is I wanted to go last Saturday when the opera festival was still around. Yeah. So, but I figure I'll do that. And if I can't find a tourist, what I'm going to do is I'll have 
one of my subscribers who comments on it and I'll pick it randomly and I'll ship it out to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm doing. So I want, do you know if you have any books on Wexford? Well, you're in slash... luck because Wexford is the most chronicled historical there county go. in the nation at the moment. <clears throat> so we've got some new ones here. We've got Fascinating Wexford History Volume 4 which is going okay. to be the big seller again this year. Huh? I this have one. the three of those, so that'll probably be something for me. Fantastic. I'm looking for around the 10 euro mark though. Okay. Just so that, now, I was very, very, I was doing, a, I was in a bowling, I got a good picture of uh, the um, Hook Lighthouse, you know, in Boston, oh, yeah. and I was able to, they were actually very nice, they gave it to me. We got a little oh. book of County Wexford. That's a good one. Tidbits of everything. We've also got Enniscarty History and Heritage, which is yes. done by Michael Tobin, who's Colin Tobin's father. Oh, okay. Um, that's I could have used that when I was doing the uh, the Enniscarty tour. Yeah. That one's not bad. So they're both good. And then oh, we've an, our Wexford section up here. <coughs> These are all our print Wexford books, which are impossible to get at the moment. Okay. And uh, then these are newer Wexford titles, but for but, some reason, if you go to look at any auction today or into any bookshop, Wexford histories command a higher price than any other histories of Ireland per okay. county. We also have this one, Enniscardian Districts, which is done by Jerk Hardy. Um, specific. I want to try something for Wexford because I mean, because people yeah. are here, like just the Wexford Absolutely. town or, you know, like just because it would be nice to uh, associate it with. Um, sure. We've also got this, which is <laughs> the book of Kelly's, which a lot of people will come down, end up staying in Kelly's hotel. Okay. The history of that. We've got a. Uh, this is a, a really nice one. It's Nicholas Furlong, who done the um, the famous photograph books, Wexford and Rare Old Times. This is one of his fiction books, A Foster Son for a King, um, which was all about Dermot McMurra and Strongbow. It's a great okay. introduction to our history. And here's one of um, Monica's book. Monica Croft and the Story of Wexford Town, reissued this year, originally written for children, but can be enjoyed by anybody. It's it's really good as well. Um, of course, the Nicky Rossler ones are always really good. This is his latest one, Looking Back, okay. um, which is more reminiscence from his life from the 1950s up. He's now completed 19 books on wow. history, mainly set in Wexford Town. Um, what else? With Lewis's Wexford here, which yeah. is goes back to Samuel Lewis, who uh, you remember he done his Dictionary of Ireland. Okay. So this one was reprinted, nineteen eighty three, and it's just it's County Wexford prior to eighteen thirty seven. Cool. Um, we've got Kevin Lewis's one. What the doctor ordered is about the Wexford Opera Festival. Okay, because um, your man that started it and stuff, right? Yeah, and then we've got here in the Owl Prince section, you'll have the likes of these Wexford Port, a history, Nikki, another Nikki Rossiter one. Um, there's so many, the Wexford Gentry, um, the Historical Society journals are always good. You've got The Past, another one of our historical journals. Um, Dan Walsh, Dan Walsh has done several books. They're all I have that. I have that one myself. History. Yeah, very, very valuable on resale at the moment. Billy Colver's books are loved. A lot of his ones are done on the Hook Peninsula. Um, John Ironside there. We've recently got new copies. And I have this one too. This one I have at home. Yeah. How much is this one? No, so that's another real print one. So that's six euro. Jeez, that's not bad. Yeah. That's actually really good. This, that's a good one. This book is so. I have after. that too. I and have that, that too. Yeah, the story of the forges of Wexford. Sought after. Liam Gall, another one of our great historians, famous Wexfordians. Wow. Oh. Um, and Main Street. Fifteen. Something a little bit more on you, a little bit more expensive is the uh, Bassett's. Uh, Bassett's Wexford, okay. which is a guide to Wexford businesses in 1885, but it's just the social history in this as well. You go back, you look up any village in Wexford and see the various fairs, fair days, mark days, 
it's just it's really good you've got it in the scallons books mickey farlong's history in the rare wexford in the rare old times there's just so much there is so like, much um, history in, in wexford it's fascinating okay so it's either a tour between here that one or i might get let's see monica's just So these are twelve fifty, eh? And then there was the other one over there that we had before. That's right. Uh, oh, the little one. I think the little one might be Facebook is great more for, um, into it. So it's a great book. Yeah, we, we can actually or. keep them on the shelves. There's also one of these that was done for Wexford Town, and we're sold out at the moment. Okay. This one covers the whole county, but. I'll get this one then. That'll yeah. be a good one for it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Kind of bury your head in the sand and stuff. Whereas yeah. Twitter is a bit, has a bit more teeth. Can I ask you, what does that mean? Um, Riff Raff. It's kind of bullshit. Like bullshit. Hyperbole. Yeah. Hmm? Hyperbole. 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 Thank you very much. You. Thanks Take very care. much, mate. Um, that was the bookstore. So we got a book um, on Wexford to add to our little collection. So that brings us roughly... 3150 I think it is uh, we're gonna go into this uh, Main Street gift shop news agent sweet store Let's see what we can find in here and add to that oh, there's music here so um, might have to uh, record over this um, we'll see these are neat I don't know about the ceramic mugs though because that probably wouldn't Oh well, transferring. Oh, that's heavy. Let's take a look. Mommy, guess what? Guess what? Let's see. They got lots of stuff here. Let's see. Oh, lots of mom's books. Kirkwood Beach. Look at them. Here's you got some more. More um, fridge magnets. Here's some little. Keychain, isn't it? There's a Wexford keychain. That's not bad. Yeah, we got some goodies here. Okay. Probably get a Wexford keychain. Okay, so there we got a little keychain. It's $5.99. Little dear, but we'll add it to the collection. So we'll see if there's anything else we can find up ahead there, and then we'll have to try to quest to look to see if we can find somebody to. Uh, and we have about 12.50 left to spend for our 50 uh, 50 euro giveaway. So I'm probably going to go back to the other side of the town again. Um, We've walked from one end main street to the other so it's it's not a huge uh, main street you can do it in about 15 20 minutes if you just wanted to walk straight obviously if you go into the shops and add a little bit more it uh, takes a little bit longer but uh, we still have 1250 uh, to try to spend to get it up to our 50 euro giveaway amount and then we'll see if we can find anyone that could uh, benefit from the uh, the, the bread bag, bag with all the little goodies. Um, we'll just walk back this way and we'll see if we could uh, see any place where I could spend that 12 50 We can go to one of the other shops that we were in previously and see if we could top it off. Back into Westgate Design. This is where we got the, uh, the, the, the cloth. Okay, so... We'll go back and we'll get that, the ornament for the tree, I think. There's a lot of nice stuff here, like I said. Okay. I'll try not to knock anything over. See, here's even some more stuff that's made in our own. You know, money clips, key rings, little watch. Hats. 
the hats are like for different sizes, so we'll stay away from that. Now is it this one here for a tenor? I like that one. It's a possibility. Or the other one that I was looking at before. We'll head back here. It's the pewter one. So this one's a little, we'll see what the weight is. I don't want it to be too heavy. This is ten. This is like, so I think we're gonna go with the uh, this one here. That'll bring us up to close to the 50 euros. And then we'll head it off. And then we'll try to find, put this one back. And we'll head back and we'll get this one for 10.95. Okay, so now we'll just add this to the uh, collection here. So this was 11 euros, which is close enough to the Thing, and we'll put this into the goodie bag with our other stuff and seal it up. Now, I'm just going to try to find somebody to give it off to. So let's go around and see if we can find random tourists. Okay. So don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, make sure you hit the bell button to be notified of the upcoming uh, vlogs. And uh, comment, please. Like I said, if stay tuned to the end. If I'm not able to give this nice little goodie bag away to somebody, what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer it to one of my subscribers who had comments that said they want it. And I'll so randomly select that and we'll post it out to you anywhere in the world. And we'll send that out to you, so. Let's just look around and see if we can see anyone that stands out as a potential tourist. If not, I might go into the Talbot Hotel and see if there's anybody sitting there. Alright. So we're walking down the main street there again, heading back towards We'll try out the Talbot Hotel. If we can see somebody in the Talbot Hotel, that'll be our last chance, unless I pop it on to somebody along the way while we're walking there. And if not, then it goes out to my subscribers. So all you have to do, if we get there, is to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you comment that you want to uh, you want to be involved in the draw, and I will randomly draw a winner and then I'll post it out to you. So I'll get in contact with you if you're the lucky winner. You just get back to me uh, through a um, direct personal message, either through Facebook or Instagram, and I'll get your particulars and I'll post it out to you. So we'll see, 50-50, stay watching and see if I am able to give away the, this little bag of goodies or one of you will get it. So here's the Talbot Hotel. Go inside and we'll see if I can find anyone that looks like they're here on a holiday. How are you? How are you? Are you from Wexford? No, no, no Dublin. Dublin. All right. Well, here, I got a little package here. It's, um, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. And hey, what is YouTube? So what I did was I went around the town and I bought about 50 euros worth of, uh, worth of uh, souvenirs. And I was going to find look for somebody who was here on holidays. I wanted to do it last week, but I was ill with the, uh, they have a boil water notice in effect. So I had a sore stomach. So I missed the opera festival. So here's a little bag. It has a few little trinkets in there from Wexford Town oh, to help good. you for that. And uh, my card's in there too. If you want to look it up, it'll be on the YouTube there probably um, maybe Sunday or Monday. Man, so it's just a little much. welcome to Wexford. Thank All right. You, you. Where are you from? Uh, originally Montreal, but I live in Wexford the last uh, 15 years. Oh, very good. So I'm doing, I have a, a YouTube channel where I'm doing a lot of uh, places in Wexford. I've also been to Ben Nevis. I did Ben Nevis a few uh, months ago 
and I'm heading to Nepal next year. So I'm just doing mostly around Ireland. So that's what mostly it's out to travel and stuff. So you're pretty good. Thank All right. You very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 So there we go. We uh, successful. I wanted to give it to a family. Uh, they were from Dublin, though, but meet some art. They were really uh, appreciative. I gave them the uh, my cards inside so they could watch themselves on YouTube. So you know what? Successful, successful uh, challenge. Um, I will uh, have a challenge for my subscribers in the future. Next Saturday, I am planning to. Do Kirk Low. I know many people have been asking for a Kirk Low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with a friend of mine, Paul. We're gonna go early in the morning, take a walk around the Ravens Woods along the beach, Kirk Low, where they had this private Ryan film, and then we'll jump into the water in the middle of November. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any comments about any other places you want me to see and show you just comment below and don't forget to hit the bell button and to subscribe thank you very much